Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about a game I recently discovered that has piqued my interest, to say the least. Um, and it's a game that is really hard to describe, but I'm going to try my best and, you know, just hope that the gameplay kind of shows you more than uh, the way I'm trying to describe it. But what is the game? The game is a game called Prismata. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, just off the bat, read you the Steam description, because this was the first thing that I, you know, kind of read or heard anything about uh, before I started playing the game. So the Steam description says, A uniquely gripping hybrid strategy game like no other, inspired by RTS's deck builders and tabletop strategy games. Outweigh your foes by efficiently constructing and commanding a powerful cybernetic army. A radical achievement in game design, Prismata rewrites the rules of strategy games. So that doesn't really tell you a lot. Like it tells you so much that it tells you almost nothing because it just, there's so many buzzwords in there. You got RTSs, you got deck builders, you got tabletop strategy games. You also got the claim that this game is an achievement in game design and it's rewriting it, you know, it's completely revolutionizing how strategy games are played. It's a pretty bold strategy, uh, you know, bold, bold uh, statement to make. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, it is free, I think, until the 21st or something like that. Um, it was one of those, you know, Steam deals or whatever. Uh, so I just decided to try it out. I was like, whatever. You know, it looks interesting. I like card games and stuff like that. And um, it, it, it's very, very interesting. And it's very unique. And I haven't played a game like it at all. So I'm going to try my best at the beginning to kind of explain what it is. Obviously, I'm heavily, like I said, relying on the gameplay to kind of show you a bit. I was just versing like a basic bot just so, you know, because I'm still a new player. I'm um, still learning everything. Uh, it does a very good job teaching you the game, by the way. There is an amazing campaign. Um, I think there's like four parts of the campaign and the first part is free. I think if you want to keep playing the rest of the campaign, uh, you got to like pay money or whatever, but that's fine. The first campaign kind of acts like a tutorial. It still has a story, but pretty much like a tutorial, but the tutorial is amazing because this type of game can be very overwhelming. Um, but pretty much what it is, is it's not like you don't, both players don't construct a deck before the game starts and bring it in and then it's your deck versus the opponent's deck. In fact, you don't bring a deck in at all. How it works is there's several different blueprints, like I think there's like hundreds. Um, and each game, it just randomly generates a list of blueprints. I think of your basic, like your drones and your engineers. So there's normally like at least like five basic ones, I believe, that are going to be in every game. Um, but after that, there's pretty much like 10 new random ones that both you and your opponent um, utilize during that match. And so, you know, if something's OP and it's in your game, not only can your opponent potentially utilize it, but you can utilize it as well. So there's no deck that you draw from, so there's no RNG there. Um, there's no like, oh, well this person had a better deck than me to begin with. It's 100% skill once you get into the game, because whatever randomly generated, you know, machines and, you know, minions you have, your opponent has that same thing, and you both have the same exact opportunities. Uh, so how it works is... You have a turn and you can pretty much use, so normally what starts off is you have like, I don't know, a couple engineers, a couple drones, and drones give you like just the normal currency gold, and engineers give you like one energy per turn, which pretty much are used for um, the drones. And you like use all your drones, you know, it, it also feels very smooth. This game is very optimized and polished, so you know, you can either just press Q, get all your drones, or you can like press the mouse button and then just drag over all your things, and that's what I like doing because it's so satisfying. But you use all your drones, that starts giving you like you know the gold then you can use that gold to build more drones probably that's what a lot of people do early game then you can you know you're it's it's turn-based so they would do that then you use your drones and maybe you build a kind of um a machine that starts generating these blue crystals and those blue crystals can be used to create monsters or um or you know i call them monsters they're kind of like machines but uh you know you can use it to create like bigger machines that attack people or you could use them to create like shields um, to kind of defend against your opponent's damage and stuff like that. Um, and there's a lot of different things. So you could also have a um, build a machine that gives you like these red gems or, uh, you know, stuff like that. So it's constantly like you're using stuff to build up your army. Um, and the way it works is really awesome because the, when, when damage happens, you drag, you know, you have some things that just automatically give you one damage at the end of your turn or, you know, whatever. Or you have some things that you can click and they give you damage. There's normally benefits and advantages to both, but... 
you'll have all the damage and then they'll decide how they can block so say you only have you know kind of like works like magic if you only have like one or two damage they could just block with a single shield that has three health and you don't really you didn't destroy anything and then at the start of their turn all health is you know back to normal um and that's kind of how it works and there's a lot of interesting mechanics like there because say you're doing uh three damage instead of blocking with a three health wall and that wall being destroyed you could maybe block with just a single engineer so that would take one damage and then you could block with the wall so it would kill the engineer but then it would only deal two damage out of three to your wall and your wall would still live so there's a lot of um kind of depth in the attack and defending like in magic it reminds me a lot like magic um but the game itself so the gameplay is really awesome and that and the kind of building up your army and stuff like that and managing resources like that is definitely you know akin to an rts so i think that's where they're coming from um, and deck builders is kind of like, you know, you are trying to, you know, decide what you want to do. Sometimes in the 15 random things, um, that both players can choose from, you know, I've had sometimes where I try to do a strategy with like red gems and I try to rush all these attack red gems and then my opponent, uh, maybe they're trying to do a slower thing and they do blue gems or stuff like that. So there's, it, it's so fascinating because both players have the exact same start and you know, they're, it's perfectly an even playing field and you know, the, it's so awesome to see like how different your guys' strategies work and you know, you know if you won, you won 100% because of skill. There's not luck at all. Um, and one thing also that I feel like I should say, because anytime someone says card game at all in a video game, a lot of people cringe and for good reason, because uh, of payment models. And Prismata is amazing about this because there is nothing you can spend money on that gives you an advantage because both players in the game It just randomly chooses those minions that you know both of you guys create so there's no deck building The only thing you can spend money on is cosmetics and skins and stuff like that uh, for the cards and then uh, you can like there's like the story content um, I think it's like about like $25 or something like that and you get like all of the campaigns and stuff like that um, It's actually, you know pretty decent deal. So there's nothing you can um, There's nothing that you can spend money on to get an advantage and I think how it works is you level up you earn more of those blueprints um, which are just the different machines and I think it only tries to match you with people that have the same blueprints as you um, so that way you're kind of slowly learning the game you know it doesn't just off the bat every game you have a randomly generated thing of uh, out of a hundred different you know um, machines it kind of like slowly eases you in um, and so overall this game has so much depth into it and there's like so many ways that an amazing person could shine versus versus a, you know, um, worse player. And one thing I like about it is, the one thing I hate about real-time strategy games is having to do things like, you know, worry about your actions per minute and you're having to multitask all this stuff. But with Prismata, it brings a lot of the strategy from RTSs, but then, you know, doesn't make it having to micromanage and all this stuff. You're just kind of like, it's turn-based. So it, it makes it a lot um, better for me personally. The games are still like very fast. Um, there's like a kind of, timer like in chess um i was just playing against a bot in this gameplay so you're not going to see a full-on timer um but it's kind of like does the whole thing where every turn you have 60 seconds and then if you use up that 60 seconds you have like 100 seconds of uh bank time or whatever kind of like you know professional chess um but the game is so amazing and apparently like it's been being developed for like seven years and it's had a player base this entire time and it just recently got on steam so some of you guys might have heard about this game but i i just recently discovered it and i'm really liking it um and i'm going to continue playing it for a um you know at least the near future because i think it's very interesting and satisfying um especially because of the fact that there's so much depth in it and you're constantly because you're constantly unlocking new blueprints then you're going to start getting games with those new blueprints and learning more strategies so it's just constantly learning new things and seeing how new interactions work and stuff like that and it's just it's an amazing game and i highly recommend especially if you're watching this video before the 21st uh, to go ahead and pick up the base game of it for free because you can on steam uh, after this, I don't really know exactly the, how the payment model is going to work. I don't know if, if it's going to go free to play at some point because it's in early access right now. I don't really know how that's going to work. Um, but right now, it is like perfectly polished for an early access game. So I would I would highly recommend at least taking a look at it. Um, but overall, that's just what I wanted to say. I wanted to let you guys know about Prismata, my experience about it, what it is. Um, because I didn't know about it and it's been in development for seven years apparently. Um, so, you know... 
thought a lot of you guys probably haven't heard of it either. Um, so yeah, but if you guys have played this game or you guys, you know, think it looks interesting or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below because part of the fun is not only talking at you guys, but, uh, you know, the conversation that comes afterwards. Um, but either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more content. New videos come out every Wednesday and Sunday. And like always, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and see you guys next time.